Taco salad is an ultra popular classic, but for those doing our belly burn challenge, the problem is getting enough protein and fiber that will help people hit their goals. So what if I told you that you can still enjoy it without breaking your diet? My 10 minute taco salad offers all the tastes of the classic version and then some. It comes with lean ground beef, and because the dish is a build your own meal, it can accommodate anyone's dietary needs. Let's get started. All right, so what I have here is, um, I have some lean ground beef that I've already just cooked and browned already. And what I did is I actually drained this in advance. So I put it through a strainer and then I actually washed it. And the reason why I did that was because I want to get rid of that extra fat. You know, sometimes lean ground beef is just, it's still pretty fatty. So for me, I just wanted to make it leaner by actually washing the beef. And it's not strange. It actually helped me because I do have some, uh, try, I am trying to hit my macros and I am trying to watch my fat macronutrients, which means I have to wash the fat off. So now that I've actually washed the fat, I'm putting it back on my pan. This is when we actually start seasoning the beef. So I'm just using regular taco seasoning. Nothing special here, just regular. I think it's pretty much made out of just what? Chili, cumin, salt. So if you have those spices at home, use it, but I don't have those spices, so I'm just gonna use taco seasoning here. So while my beef is cooking, I'm actually going to show you my toppings. So for the salad, we are using some baked coleslaw. And the reason why we're using baked coleslaw is because it adds a nice crunch. Of course, if you don't have coleslaw, you can use um, just shredded lettuce. But I find that it's not crunchy enough for me, so I actually prefer the baked coleslaw. And actually, just another tip for you guys, when you go to the grocery store, make sure that your baked veggies come vacuum sealed. This is how you know it stays fresh and that uh, it won't go bad. Once your baked salad has lots of air and it's loose, that's when you know that it's not as fresh anymore. So if you want to keep your vegetables lasting longer, what you can do is take a paper towel and actually put it inside the bag and it will absorb all the moisture and keep your veggies lasting longer. So I actually do this to all my veggies. I do it with my asparagus. I do it with my celery. I do it with my spinach just to make it last longer. And I'm telling you, you will save so much money by doing that. So our beef is just about cooked here. So let's assemble our salad. Okay. I'm actually making the salad for Jerome. Jerome, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> You're doing good? Yes. So Jerome actually came over probably about half an hour early and he was playing ping pong. Ping pong. Ping pong. How was RJ. ping pong? Yes, ping pong with RJ. That guy is tough to beat. Oh, he's tough to beat? Yeah, because he loves the table, right? He's only getting better, Jerome, which That's means right. you have to come over more often. So over here, I put about two cups of coleslaw. This is probably like 40 calories, I think. If you're unsure, you can always just use a scale and measure it. In this case, I'm not because I can already eyeball it. And then um, I have some toppings here. We have some black beans that I've rinsed already. And did you know that black beans actually have a lot of fiber? So half a cup of black beans adds seven grams of fiber. So if you need some help, if you're backed up, eat beans. And then we have some um, low fat cheese here. We have some corn, salsa, and here I'm actually using a skier yogurt. And the reason why I'm using skier yogurt is because um, it actually adds a lot of protein. And for me, I need to add more protein into my diet. So I like to use skier yogurt. It has, it's, it's like Greek yogurt, except it's less sour. So for those that don't like Greek yogurt, try using skier. It has a nicer, softer taste, I find. And over here, three cups of Greek, of this yogurt is, 20 grams of protein, so not too shabby. Okay, so now our beef is done. We're just going to put it on top here. Jerome, this is low-fat beef. Yes. Of course, if you guys are vegan, you can use some ground round, up to you. But I like beef, so we're going to use beef. And what I like about this meal is that um, it's built your own, so if you don't like beef, you can definitely substitute it with chicken if you'd like. Um, okay, so let, let, let's add some black beans. Jerome, do you like black beans? Yes, I do. Yes, you're going to eat it because of lots of fiber. There you go. So, 
Let's give you uh, let's give you half a cup. And then corn. I like corn because it adds a nice taste to it, nice sweetness. So let's add about. Do you like corn too, Jerome? Yes, I do. Okay. Perfect. How about avocado, Jerome? So with avocado, you have to be careful when cutting an avocado. Don't cut it like this. That's how you can get avocado hand. Cut it like this. This is the safer way of how to cut an avocado. It's called avocado hand because people have actually cut their hands when cutting an avocado, right? It's actually happened to my sister. She was in the ER for about 10 hours, I believe, all by herself. Yes, because, you know, she cut the avocado like that, not on a cutting board, so safety first, right? And I'm using an avocado, not guacamole, just because it's easier for me to track. All I would do is just weigh my avocado on a food scale, and then I can easily track how many grams of fat I have in my meals. So I just put half an avocado, or do you want a whole avocado? Jerome, you're, uh, let's give you a whole one. Yes. Let's give you a whole one, why not? And it's the healthy fat too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we'll give you a whole one. I actually know, I, I eat small avocados often, that it's about 80 grams, which is about, um, I think it's 120 calories. I do actually use my scale like five times a day. If you don't have a food scale, get a food scale. It's so important. Okay, there we go. And then, uh, what about tomato? Do you like tomato, yes, Jerome? Yes, please. Okay. We have uh, lots of tomatoes. I like tomatoes. Um, you're gonna have some cherry tomatoes. I like cherry tomatoes mm -hmm. because uh, you know it makes my food look pretty, right? It does. You eat with your eyes. So you want to make your food very nice and pretty looking. You don't want it to look very gray. Okay. And then cheese. Do you want cheese too? Yes. Okay. So I think 30 grams of cheese is about 120 calories. Or it's about a quarter of a cup. So we'll just sprinkle it like that. Okay. Now, I'm not using sour cream because like I said, we're trying to hit our protein goals. So we're actually, let me get a clean spoon here. I'm very particular, so I like to use clean things, especially for a Greek yogurt or sour cream. Make sure you have a clean spoon. You don't want to see little bits inside the yogurt. Because what if I eat it for progurt, right? Okay. So let's give you, let's give you two spoonfuls of these, Jerome. This is probably about, I would say, 15 grams of added protein. Okay. Oh, there, let's make it look nice. And then we'll give you some salsa too. Why not, right? Yes. Okay, and salsa, what is it? Four tablespoons is only 20 calories. Mm -hmm. And this whole meal itself is so low in calories, it's crazy. And what I like is that like I said, you can build your own. Everyone can make the me their meals according to their goals. Obviously, mine are different from yours, Jerome. Okay. And they're, oh, green onions. Do you want green yes, onions, please. Jerome? On top. On top? On top. OK. Yeah, we'll make your, your dish look pretty. Why not, right? There you go. And of course, for those that like spicier meals, you can always add some uh, red chili flakes. Uh, RJ likes to add cayenne pepper to his, just to kind of speed up his metabolism. And you know what? Look at that. Look at that. It's pretty. Look at that. Scissors. With scissors, yes. <laughs> kitchen shears. If you don't have kitchen shears, get them. They're a lifesaver. Okay, well, there you guys. There we have it. Our 10-minute taco salad. It took no time to prepare at all. This is a, such a huge meal. But this is a meal for Jerome. Yeah. Mine would be half of this size. Yeah. There, if you guys enjoyed this meal, please let me know. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.